Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. Today we're going to be reviewing the SEMA SL20 IR extender. We use this for our night vision cameras in order to film in total darkness. Most digital cameras and camcorders on the market today are going to be sensitive to infrared light. A good way to find out if yours is sensitive is to take your television remote and point it at the camera and press the button. If you see the light flickering, this means that your camera is indeed sensitive to infrared light. With that being said, this does not necessarily mean that you're going to be able to use the SL20 IR illuminator with your camera to film at night. If your camera does not have a night vision capability, then this is not going to work. We use Sony brand night vision cameras for all of our night vision applications. The reason that we use Sony is because as far as we're concerned, this is the best night vision camera that you can purchase on the market today. If you're thinking about going out and buying a new Sony camera, you want to make sure that it does have the night vision capability because a lot of the ones that are coming out now that you can buy in the stores do not have that capability. When you order your SEMA SL20 IR illuminator, you're going to get a couple things with it. You're going to get this shoe adapter, which is great if you don't have a light adapter on the top of your camera. It's just going to slide on just like this and you're going to take it and you're going to screw it into the bottom of your camcorder. It also comes with an AC power supply. Actually what this power supply is going to do, it's only going to charge your light. If you want to leave this plugged up, it's not going to work. The, the light's not going to work. This is just one of the few setbacks of this great light. With that being said, the SL20 IR has a few drawbacks. One of the drawbacks, when you plug your light in, it's going to take you about three hours to charge it. I know this is a long time. And when you pull it out, I'm sure you expect to get a couple hours of light out of it. That's not the case at all. You're only going to get about 45 minutes. Once that 45 minute mark hits, you're going to see your light flashing. It's going to flash about 10 times and then it's going to cut off. This is a drawback if you want to set cameras up stationary in a place. You're going to have to go and change them probably more often than you would have to change mini DV tapes if you were using that type of a camera. This light itself is a great illuminator. If you're in a dark place, it's going to illuminate pretty much any size room. Another great thing about this light is there are actually slots where you can hook other lights to it, so you can basically run as many of these lights as you need. Another great characteristic of this light is how affordable they are. If you check on eBay, you can probably find one of these lights for around $40 with maybe $5 shipping and handling. Worst case scenario, you can get one of these lights for about 45 bucks. I'm sure there are some people on eBay trying to sell these for more. I've seen them at almost $100. Don't buy these lights. These people are trying to rip you off, and it's not right. If you're paying more than $50 for the light, don't buy it. You can find it somewhere else cheaper. I'm sure you've been waiting for this moment the whole video. We're actually going to take the light and the shoe. We're going to hook it on the camera, and we're going to show you how well it works. Okay, here we are recording in total darkness with the lights cut off. We're going to switch it to the night vision mode right now. Okay, we're in the night vision mode now. If you look closely, you can see the wall that's about 10 foot away. It's not very visible, but you can kind of tell it's there. And we're going to turn on the SEMA SL20 IR. Enough said. Again with the light off. One more time with the light on. Well, there you have it. The SEMA SL20 IR. Bottom line, we would indeed recommend this infrared light to anyone curious about investigating the paranormal world. I just want to thank you for watching my videos. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.